If you've got 50 grand, buy a house, but buy a house that is run down by the worst house in the best street. So instead of buying a house for 200 grand that's in perfect, pristine condition and renting it out, find a house in the same street that's really run down that needs 50 grand spending on it. It's got structural problems. It's a mess, but buy it for 100 grand. Buy it cash. If you haven't got cash, you can get a bridging loan. It doesn't need to be your cash. Buy it for 100 grand. Then spend 50 grand at doing it up. It doesn't have to be your money. You can get a bridging loan. I've got my own bridging company. Because a lot of people say, oh, how do you get bridging that? So I set my own company up. There you go, I can give you bridging, right? Yeah, it makes sense. If you've got the demand there, right. yeah, why yeah. not service right. it? Right, yeah. so now you bought a house for 100 grand, you spent 50 grand on it, but now it's worth 200 grand because you've added value. So now what you do is you now refinance it, get a 75% mortgage loan to value, and they'll give you 75% of the new value. So instead of getting a mortgage before you buy, get a mortgage after you buy. So they'll give you 150 grand, which pays back your, you get your 50 grand back and you can pay the bridging company back and then you go again. So it's keeps... recycling money. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, that makes and that, sense. Uh, that is how most wealthy people do do property.